come to us from Otter Tail County. Yes. On your campaign page said you're a sixth generation resident of the area. Um, what part of the state is that and what's special about it? Yeah, so I grew up and live in Fergus Falls, Minnesota, and you know, Otter Tail County is just a, a great place to live, work, and raise a family. Uh, we have more than a thousand lakes in the county. Agriculture is also a key part of our community. And uh, for both my wife, Emma, and I, just really, you know, after we got our education, after we uh, started our professional careers, you know, always saw ourselves coming back to uh, build a family there. And so it was, uh, you know, very honored to get a chance to represent uh, my community and the community that my family's been in, um, as you said, for six generations down here at the state capitol. What are some of the values and priorities of uh, the people in your district? I think, you know, the big value that I heard a lot about was just making sure that um, our way of life uh, is viable going forward. And it's just making sure that when kids graduate from high school or want to come back from college, that they can find good paying jobs that can support families, uh, making sure that we have uh, protect our natural resources. You know, there's two state parks in our district. Agriculture is a big component. Recreation with the lakes and resorts is a key component. So just making sure that we're passing on those natural resources to the next generation. Um, and then, you know, I think the other thing is, you know, people just expect integrity from their elected officials, from the people that are serving them. And that's uh, those key values that I hope to take down to the Capitol with my service. Did I see correctly that you're a Harvard graduate? Correct. Yeah, after graduating from the Fergus Falls Public High School, got a chance through uh, scholarships uh, to go to um, Harvard and study there for my undergrad before moving back to Minnesota. And what was it like in your time? What did you take away from that? Obviously, I mean, one of the best schools in the, in the nation. I was very blessed. You know, Harvard has a lot of resources that um, really enabled me to uh, you know, learn a lot about the world, about how the economy works, about how our political systems work. Um, I was able to meet a diverse set of uh, students from across the country and across the world. And so a, a really great experience for me. And, um, but I'd say the, you know, the big lesson I took away too is just how important uh, you know, coming home was as well and coming back to Minnesota. And what I really valued about the community that I grew up in and, and live in currently uh, was from being away for a little bit. You get to see some of that perhaps even clearer than you, you could when you were just uh, living there to start with. You talked a little bit about your community's priorities. What about you? What is uh, what, what would you what do you think is the biggest issue that needs to uh, be worked on when uh, session starts in January? For me, it's making sure that we can get businesses and families back on their feet given uh, COVID-19 and the impact it's had not just on public health but on the economy. You know, I talk every day to small business owners that don't know if they'll be able to make next week's payroll, and uh, just making sure that. Um, these businesses are able to weather this storm, I think needs to be our number one priority. And then, you know, once we get past COVID, because we will get past COVID, it's uh, making sure that Minnesota is competitive from an economic uh, perspective, from a tax perspective. Otter Tail County is very close to the Dakotas. We compete with the Dakotas. And for me, that, that's looking at our, our tax structure, looking at our regulations, and making sure that we can uh, attract uh, the new businesses, the innovators, the workforce of the future so that we can uh, grow our economy out in greater Minnesota. And just final question. I also read that you're a volunteer as a board member for the Otter Tail County Historical Society. Yes. Can you give us any historical nuggets on Otter Tail County? Oh, I mean, it, it's, it has a, a long history and, and lots of great stories. You know, one of the interesting historical features of the county is that uh, we used to house one of the uh, state hospitals and um, it was based out of Fergus Falls and it's this uh, you know beautiful building well over 100 years old and uh, it's it's kind of this uh, you know challenge for us as a community now it no longer is operating as a state hospital and what can we do as a community to try to um, you know preserve the facility reuse the facility um, and so that's a piece of kind of living history that we're you know, you know, still working with uh, at the local level.